Hi. Okay, my toes done, y'all. Look. It is a self care day. And I'm going to like kind of break it up a little bit. Um because what I another thing I want to get done I can't get done till tomorrow. So I just kinda of gotta you know bite the bullet on that one. Yeah, you're fine. Thank you. Um so I'm just relaxing right now. I already ordered the kids food. They want Chipotle and luckily it's a Chipotle um across the street from my nail salon. It's, I'm right next to a Target and a Dollar Tree. And then if I walk across the street, I'll be next to a Chipotle. So it won't be too much on me to just go ahead and order. I'm going to wait on this person to get my toes done. And then once I'm leaving, getting ready to leave out of Target, then I'll order my Chipotle. Because if I order Chipotle now, it's, it's going to be cold. Um, the kids are with their godmom. So, I'm going to make a video about this later. But, y'all, this old lady, as I was getting out the car, she was like, you were so beautiful. And your aura shines and gave me $45. I was like, ma'am. Then, I walked into the nail salon. It was this little girl getting her nails done. And it was, I can tell he was a single dad because he didn't know what he was doing. He, <laughs> he was so confused, right? So the little girl was like, Daddy, I want this gel color, da 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 And he was trying to calculate how much it would cost. And I saw the frustration. So there was a um, an older lady. And anytime, I'm from North Carolina, anytime I see an older lady, I call them auntie, right? I don't have to know your name, you auntie. She was like, I got it, I got it. So... She paid for the tip. I was like, okay, you pay for the tip, I pay for the nails. So, I don't know how much tip she gave. That ain't none of my business. But I know it was 35 for her nails to get done. Because she got really, like, sport cut nails. So that they weren't really long. And they didn't really have too much on them, right? So, it was $35. She paid the tip. And then I went ahead and, um, like I said, I, I paid for the nails. So the dad looked at us like he, he didn't know what to do. And I was like, just use that money, go buy her something else that she may need. You know what I mean? But it was the it was the look in his eyes watching his daughter's nails be paid for and he didn't have to pay for anything. That ma that made me very happy, right? Because there are plenty of there are plenty of parents that are not fully involved in the fact that he wanted to sit in a nail salon with her, was asking her very good questions about like okay well what is this or what is this and and okay do you want this? He was very involved and very um, in depth with his questions, and I was like, go ahead, Dad, you know. Um, because I've seen dads come in with their daughters and get their nails done. And they just drop them off and leave. Interaction. I would rather that. Thank you. Hi, Mookie. So, it has been great for me today. Um, honestly, I want some ramen real bad. <laughs> I might order some. Um, but I know the kids want Chipotle. I got all their orders today. It is, it is, um... Uh, movie night it was friday so we had movie nights on friday um so i know that it is going to be i don't know what movie they want to watch but we will, we will watch movies at seven o'clock i'll be home back back home by then so i'm super excited because it'll be my new sons i gotta figure out a nickname because i don't want to tell y'all his real name I gotta figure out a nickname for him. When I figure out the nickname, I'll tell y'all. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. Hi, Frida. Hi, this is my baby father. Hey. Or early tomorrow. I don't know. I might just take a break tonight after I do this live. Um. 
to just take some time. Also, I am getting the white toes because white toes all year round. In addition, y'all, I need glasses. <laughs> I need reading glasses, y'all. I'm about to go to Target next door and try these reading glasses on because I can't see sometimes. <laughs> My eyes be refocusing. I be looking weird. Like, look at, look at how I look at how close I got to I did get a chance to talk to the sisters. So the sisters are adults, right? Thank you guys for the for the gifts and the likes. The sisters are older, so they're outside of the house. What I was trying to make, what I was trying to do was um, figure out what was going on in the house while they were there, especially with um, my son saying that it, it's, if y'all think that's traumatic, with the things that the sisters told me, it's way worse. It's way worse because you know how you have those moms that are jealous of their children, especially their daughters? She's one of them. And um, I had to sit in it. That's why I couldn't make a video. I had to sit in my emotions and then comfort them. Because I, I didn't know how to handle that, right? Um, that was very hard for me to hear. Two hours of me hearing things that happened to them, things that occurred to them. I'm just happy that they're okay, right? However, they should have never had to go through that. No child should have to go through No person, adult either, should have to go through the things that I heard yesterday. I have a recording, but I won't, I won't post that because that, that could re-traumatize them. <clears throat> and they follow me now, and I promise them I wouldn't. So I'm not going to. Again... She's, she's something else. And um, I'm glad they have found solace in me. I'm glad that they are comfortable with their brother being with me as well. I told them, hi. I told them if they wanted to come and see him, they, they are more than welcome to come and see him. But that mother is not allowed in my house anymore. Um, I, I can't allow that. Because if I allow that, then I'm damaging him just as much as she would. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you guys for the gifts. Um, it, it boggles my mind um, the way that some parents are with their children and the tough love that they call it. I don't see that. I don't see see that at all, actually. It, it actually upsets me. As not only a mom, but a neighborhood mom that has to deal with several emotions from several children. Of how that makes sense to some parents. That you do this and you get this result. How, how do you not see that as trauma that you're going to have to address later. Hi! I'm sitting here asking questions if I'm being a parent, right? And you sitting here intentionally traumatizing your children. And not just one child, several children. Like, what kind of messes y'all got going on? It's not, it's not funny and I want you to understand that when I'm smiling, it is a nervous tick. Sometimes when I'm smiling in traumatic situation, it is my way of not crying. I am not smiling because I find it funny. I'm smiling because I don't want to cry. Um, so sometimes when I am, sorry, sometimes when I am in full distress and I feel like I need to cry, I smile in order not to cry because I don't feel like crying. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like crying. Like right now, I'm doing. I I, I can't. It, my emotions won't allow me to, to sit in that space sometimes and then I have to reevaluate and go through them later but it's not I'm smiling because I find it funny it's because I'm smiling because I'm, I'm trying not to cry can you come back with the phone yeah I'll come back okay um, 
Oh, she's so pretty. Um. Listen, I don't care if it was 19, <clears throat> 16. I've seen that age as well. I don't care what the age is. If you're responsible for that child, kicking them out teaches them what? To me, and, and this is me as a parent. I can't speak for nobody else. But to me, I don't care what age they are. If you say you, you're going to let them live there and be responsible for them, and you kick them out because they don't do what you want them to do or you don't agree with what they're doing. And without notice, right? Because, you know, adults, older adults, you know, they, they can fear for themselves. 16, I still feel like that's, that's, that's not okay with me either, right? Because that's still a child, whether they're a teenager or not. Whether they can get a job or not, drive or not, for me, that's still unacceptable. Um, because that's still traumatizing to them. Like, I, I need people to understand the things that we do as parents, as human beings to one another. There is a domino effect to everything we do, no matter how old we are, Right? And when you do these things with malice and with such with such toxicity behind it, understand how you shape someone's ability and and hi purple lady, their ability to form proper relationships, especially when they're children. So that angered me on several fronts because this little boy doesn't understand and he shouldn't have to. You know what I mean? He shouldn't have to understand. The fact of the matter is that she should have never had kids. Should have never had them. Now, am I glad he's here? Mm-hmm. I am. I'm glad to have him in my house. That is his house now. He is more than welcome to be there with his sister and brother. And his first sister and brother. For me, though... I, I don't, I don't, and she's not the only one, she's not the only one, she won't be the last one, oh, <laughs> yeah, she won't, she won't be the last one, she's not the first one, I'm undoing a lot of things that she has done over the last nine years of this boy's life. And um, I'm just glad that I was entrusted with his safety. No matter how the circumstances came about, yes, they are tragic. Yes, they are horrible. Yes, they suck. I'm just glad that he found me and I found him. And for the past 72 hours, I have had to sit in my emotions and, and, and break down his... Um, because y'all see how excited I got about him giving me a hug yesterday and he called me mom today and it's just like I wonder I don't know if I really want to know but I wonder why he feels so comfortable calling me that is it because he feels safe and he's never had the option to feel the safety that I give him or is it because he realizes how I treat Kyan and Kiara I don't know do I really care mm -mm, I don't I'm just glad that he feels safe enough to call me those things and and feel safe enough to to be in our presence and not feel like an outsider that's what that's one of the things I was worried about I was worried about him feeling like outside I was really scared about that um, and I'm happy that he doesn't. It, it makes my it makes my heart smile that he doesn't feel that way. Because that's the last thing I want him to feel. Hi, hi. Um, and so even when it comes down to the simplest things, as far as like picking dinner or 
what time do you want to take your bath the fact that he has choices i don't think he knows how to process somebody asking him what he wants it doesn't register in his brain that it's okay for him to have an opinion without being reprimanded for it because y'all know my kids are very opinionated <laughs> They ain't got no sense. <laughs> they don't care. They're going to say what they need to say. They're going to say what they need to say when they need to say it. So, I love that he's getting into the to the thing of, um, hey, mom, I want this. Or, mom, can we do this? And, and I'm like, y'all not going to make me cry in this dog on this salon. I'm not going to cry in this nail salon in front of these people. But, um, I had to experience an immense amount of love I was not ready for. I wasn't ready for it, y'all. I was not ready for it. And it's not just coming from him, it's coming from y'all, too. The fact that I woke up with a comma, because I'm not going to tell you how much it was. It was a comma in my cash app. It was a comma in that mug. Okay. I was like, again, I didn't ask for any donations. I asked y'all for shrimp because I felt weak and I felt weary. And I was like, I, I got to stay up. I got to do this for him. I got to do this. And then on top of that, I got Kai and Kiki. I want y'all to understand that the way that I boohoo cried yesterday. Mm -mm. I didn't even think I had any more tears to cry today. Oh, thank you. I, I thought the way that my eyes welted up, I, I had pure bags up under my eyes. Not because I didn't sleep, because I had cried so much. And it wasn't, I wasn't sad. I was, I was, I was overflowed. I got calls from people giving me encouragement. People came by the house to drop off things for him. Drop off things for him. They dropped off Christmas presents for Kai and Kiki. I don't know how. I'm not a good gift acceptor. I'm a great gift giver, right? Oh, I'm horrible at accepting gifts. You could buy me a Reese's Puff. You could buy me a Reese's Cup right now. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm, mm -mm. Don't buy me stuff. <laughs> I say that, but I love it. I love the fact that y'all listen to me because y'all are really paying attention. However, understand, I'm going to cry. Okay? If you ask it for me not to cry, that I can't do that. I'm not, I can't promise you that. I'm about to boo who cry. I don't care what it is. Y'all could have bought me a, a ballpoint pen that glide across the paper real nicely. to cry <laughs> I'm bad it's the simplest things simple things mean a lot to me and if you're paying attention to what I'm saying and now I got three kids my little well say sitting here um, and I'm understanding my children in different ways no child is the same and I get to have individual conversations every Saturday, which I've made a very conscious decision to do. Every Saturday, I have time cut out for each child to talk to them because of things that happen during school week and stuff like that. So I call it a decompression session. Sorry. So if something has happened during the work, during the week, or they need to talk to me about something, Saturday is the day to do it however long you need. You know what I mean? Okay, so guys, I passed, my, for those of you guys that have been asking, I passed my background check. I don't have a record, never did. Passed my background check yesterday. Now it's about to be New Year's weekend, so I'm waiting until like Tuesday, Wednesday. But I gotta, I gotta get ready to start these classes because in order to be a foster mom or have guardianship, you have to take these classes in the state of Georgia, right? And so, I have to wait. Again, New Year's is this weekend. 
So I knew it was going to take some time, but they did go ahead and come back with my background check. I'm already set for that. That, that came back in less than 24 hours. It didn't take no time. So I'm good to go on that. Um, but I had to sign up for these specific classes. And I got to look at the dates. Now my lawyer is on some things. Um, so I'm super happy about it. Now for those of y'all that are asking what about school. He stays in the same neighborhood. He's still going to go to the same school. What's going to happen is I will go up to the school. And then I will um, add my name. Me and the dad will add my name to the paperwork. The emergency paperwork. And things like that. But he doesn't have to change schools. So we don't have to worry about that. Oh, thank you so much for being a foster parent. Thank you. No, I can't skip the red tape because if I skip the red tape, then anything that I do after that can be called into question. I got to go about this the right way, right? Luckily, the dad is on my side um, and is in concurrence with me. So, But if I was to go around it, anything that I do after today, I could be called into court for. So I'm, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Also... I don't know if y'all saw my latest video. I got him a, a blow-up mattress. However, I didn't know they made bunk beds with three beds in it. I've only had beds with bunk beds with two, right? So I'm sitting here thinking, do I just go ahead and get the bunk beds with three? Cause I'm with it, you know, like. I got enough room. They got enough room in the house. Excuse me, in the room for it. I could possibly do the, the three bunk beds, you know. I'm going to have to do some more research because my both my sons are nine. Both of them are, <laughs> are almost five five. Now, listen, little old me is five five. Uh, Kyan is five. He's five two. And then my other son is five three. So they're around the same height. Also, I don't appreciate them being nine and almost being as tall as me, but that's neither here nor there, okay? I feel extra short now. <laughs> so, I'm going to figure out if I want to go ahead and buy them the bunk beds with three in them. Because Kiki will be at the top. Either way it goes. She's at the top now. So, I might do that. I might do that after New Year's because I know if I order it now, it still won't get to me after New Year's, so it's no rush. But I'm going to do some research because then I'll have to buy a mattress and stuff like that too. Because um, I don't want him sleeping on the on a blow up mattress the whole time he's there. Because we move out in April to my town home, um, and I just I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this, y'all. If y'all have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, put them in the comments. Text me. Instagram. Put me. Put on Instagram because some of y'all have reached out on Instagram. Oh my gosh, the people that reached out on Instagram. I, I, oh, y'all have been amazing. Um, also, my toes is done. Okay, yes, my toes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, where do I need to go? hold on, y'all? Where do I need to go sit, ma'am? I gotta go. I gotta move. Hold on. Let me. I don't know what station she wants me to sit at right here. Okay, thank you. Child, my feet is gliding around this mug. Thank you. Okay, matter of fact. I go Hi. But yes, um, thank you. So, y'all that have... Um, I, thank you so much. I try. Okay, so I try. I paid for. <laughs> I paid for the little lady's uh, nails earlier. How about somebody just pay for my toes? Cause I just asked her how much I owe her. She said nothing. And <laughs> thank you. I know I. I know I owe her at least sixty dollars. I just got like the deluxe pedicure. She said I didn't owe her nothing. So I don't know. I don't know who paid for my stuff in here, y'all. 
um, I, I really don't. Uh, so I, I don't even know if they still here. I'm about to put y'all right here. Can y'all hear me fine? Right here. Yeah, I did. I did. I gave. I gave. That money that that old lady gave me earlier, cause she said I was pretty. <laughs> when I was walking in here, I just gave it to her. Cause it was cash. I usually don't carry cash. I just went ahead and gave her the money. It's not like I needed it. She did a really good job on my on my on my feet. Huh? Y'all know I can do white toes all year round. Oh, so. not here. Oh, thank you. Um, huh? So, like huh? I said, all that money that old lady gave, that, that that auntie gave me, I gave it to her. That's her tip. So, um, also, <laughs> I contacted all my partners today and asked them what color I should get on my nails. And everybody gave me a different color, so I don't know what these notes gonna look like when I'm done. But we just gonna we gonna rock this thing out, okay? Let me put this on. Do not, so. Okay, there we go. Cause I don't want it vibrating at all. Also, this is my regular nail tech. I don't go to nobody else. She's my nail tech for almost six years now. If she's not here, I don't come. That's why I didn't come yesterday. Cause she won't here. She was off yesterday. So, as you can see, that's why I'm not talking to her. Because she knows how I want my nails to. I don't really have to do too much. I don't really have to say too much to her. Thank you. Um, uh, I still got to go to Children's Place. Children's Place is... Um, I'm in like a... I'm in Camp Creek Marketplace at this point. <clears throat> So I'm here next to the Target, and so there's a children's place. I gotta go pick up this box for y'all, y'all internet nephew. That's what I'm gonna call him right now. Um, because I order stuff, I got it sent to the store, and I gotta go in Target because I need like some little odds and ends. I don't need too much, and then I'm gonna order Chipotle while I'm in Target, and then I'm gonna go home. We're going to have a movie night. I don't know what movie they want to watch, but they said they want to watch a movie. Now, if y'all typing in here, I can't see what the fuck right now. I ain't got my reading glasses on. <laughs> so I can't see. Oh, no, I'm trying. If y'all, okay, if y'all have any suggestions on the, on the three-part bunk bed, can y'all tag me in them? Because I'm really trying to figure out what's the best way. Now, I'm not going to put that bed together. Because if I do, Spartan going to get mad. Um, I'm going to let him put it together. And if I do get the three bunk bed. I just bought a bunk bed two months ago. It's damn near brand new. I will give it to somebody that is in need. I will break it down. I will put it in a box. And I will give it to somebody that needs it for their kids. Or wants to donate it to somebody. Just let me know. If that's what I decide to do, I will go ahead and donate the bunk bed that they got now. I will sanitize it, break it down, and put it in the box that I'm going to take the three the three um, bunk bed uh, thing out of and then donate it to somebody or give it to somebody if they need it. So, y'all just let me know. Again, I know y'all comment. I can see the I can kind of see the comments, but I don't have on my reading glasses, y'all. Listen, I'm 31. I'm, my astigmatism is beating my ass. Um, I gotta go pick my glasses up from Target. <laughs> I'm getting older, y'all. <laughs> I know this face. It looks real nice, all right? But my eyes is like, hey, yo, we can't see. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me try to come closer because I don't want to leave y'all by yourself. Um,
So <clears throat> the state the state was involved as far as child endangerment. Now that the state has realized that the child is not in danger, they're speaking with me and the dad. And I now have a lawyer. They have fallen back a lot more. Now, I will consult with them and make sure that I'm doing what I need to do. If I need to upgrade my house, I will. I don't have no problem with that. Um, I'm just trying, to, again, I'm taking it step by step. I'm not jumping. I'm not moving too fast. I will, I'm, 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 now, I'm impatient on certain things, but when it comes to kids, I'm, that's, that's something I don't play with. So if I need to get a bigger place now, I'll do it. Matter of fact, if I have to move next month, the rent is already paid up to April. I already paid my rent to April. If I have to move next month, somebody that is homeless or somebody that has kids can take that whole house. Take it to April. Because the rent is paid already. You know what I mean? So either way, somebody's going to get blessed regardless. Whether it be me and my family or somebody in somebody else's family. I don't care how it gets done. But it's going to get done. Because I'm, I'm not giving him away. Um, when I leave here, i got to have a talk with the dad. The dad is coming over for movie night. Um, so, yeah. I, I, I play no games about my kids. I don't. Or anybody else's kids. So, if I got to move because the state doesn't want... My, ch my daughter and my two sons in the same room, so be it. Okay, so we get another place in. We get a bigger place in. It is what it is. If I need to get the three bunk bed, and I give that new bunk bed set that I got two months ago to somebody that's in need, so be it. It is what it is. It's no skin off my back. I know I'm going to get it back. I, I, don't, I don't sweat shit like that. You feel me? Like that's, that's not something that I sit here and sweat. Because at the end of the day, I don't do shit just to get something back. You know, will I know it will come back? Yes. But I don't do it for that reason. I do it at the corners of my heart because I know that there was times where I didn't have a chance to do this. I know there was times where I needed to be helped. Ew, I still need to be helped. And even with me helping other people. I don't care if I had $10 to my name or somebody needed five, I'd give it to them. This is how I operate. This is how I was raised. This, this, this is how I operate. Where'd you get a new ring? You're so pretty. She got a new ring. My husband gave her a new ring. Come on now. Come on now. It's so cute. It looks so nice. You and you and our, you and our tiny fingers. We got <laughs> our tiny fingers. Everything looks big on our hands. I hope you guys are having a great Friday. Also, this uh, this other person started running my water for my pedicure at first, and they gave me lukewarm. I said, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't do no lukewarm water. I need my water hot. Now, my son will tell you <laughs> if it's up to him, he be like, you, he be like, you be you be burning, you be cooking neck bones. I, I want them, I want them real long this time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. I want it longer. It's okay. No, I cut this one. This one. This one. I don't want to bump you while you cut her knees too. Okay. I want to bump you while you cut her. Let me see your fingers. Let me see. No, no. Down here. Right here. Yep. Right. Yes, ma'am. I, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I need the grippers. I got some stuff to do tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Listen, y'all give me a minute. I can't really see y'all comments, but I'm here, right? Y'all give me a minute till I get my glasses from Target because I can't see my eyes 
my eyes aren't focusing the way they need to. <laughs> my astigmatism is beating my ass. <laughs> I'm so sorry. See y'all typing. I have to bring the phone really, really close to me in order to see it. And I'm trying not to keep moving y'all. Um, let me tell you, I love black women in yellow. I love black women in yellow. Now, I love black women in all colors, but in yellow, it just do something to me. This is one that makes me hope. She got on yellow. She look bad in a mall. You see, hear me? I love the way she looks in that color. And she, she got her hair crimped. That's a, that's a auntie. <laughs> Straight auntie. Y'all hear her? She, she been around me too long. She, she don't need to be paying attention to what I be singing no more. The, the kids are fine. The kids are with their godmom. Today is half of my self care day. So they're going to be with her until I get back. So whenever I get my nails done, I got to go to the children's place, which is I, I'm in a marketplace, right? So everything that I got to go to is on the same strip. Literally, I can just walk to it. So next door is the Target. Next door is the, the children's place. The, across the street is the Chipotle. So I don't have to go far. So when I get up out of here, I'm going to go to the Target, pick up my glasses. Because, again, I can't see where the fuck. Okay, what shape do you want? Coffee. Coffee. Yes, ma'am. And then um, I'm going to go to the children's place. I got to pick up this box. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna step outside. I'm gonna step outside. I'm gonna step right there. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Hey, y'all. Also, it feels really good outside. You know, I guess I guess last Friday they was like, you know, it's gonna be a little cold, but this Friday we're gonna give you a break, so I'm not tripping about it. Also, I can see better out here. Maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. But again, my eyes haven't adjusted. Um... Yeah, I, I have to do the classes first, like like the young lady said. I can't foster without those classes first. I did pass ground. I did pass the pa background check yesterday. Um, I wasn't really worried about that because, like I said, I um, I don't have a record, so I knew that would come back fast. But it's the new year, so I can't start the classes until next week. Um, so. Damn, it feel good out here. I ain't even need no hoodie. I don't know where y'all are right now, but it feels good as hell out here. I'm in, I'm in Atlanta. It feels good as hell outside. Um, 
I'm near the airport. I am near the airport in Atlanta. I don't know if y'all can hear, but there's planes flying all above me right now. Like, I'm looking at a plane about to land right now. <laughs> it looks like... That's an American Airlines plane about to land right now. Again, I don't know if y'all can hear, but y'all, while I'm outside, it's going to be in and out. The plane's landing and, and, and going out as well. Um... I am near, I am in Camp Creek right now. Now, I'm saying this, if one of y'all crazy mothers show up up here, I, I will handle my business. Don't, don't be stupid about it now. Um, I'm getting my nails done. Okay, thank you. Hi. Oh, baby. My friend. No problem. Good, Yeah, it's the lighting in here that's fucking in my eyes. Y'all, somebody baby. Hey, Shark. Somebody baby was walking around. She's so pretty. How are you? I'm good. How are you, hon? Yep, yep. Good to see you now. She was working. She was starting to work on this thing. You like long nails, short nails? Mm, no, they already cut. It's coughing now. Yeah, yeah. Coughing. You, you want long nails? Like? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. You want coughing? Yes. Okay. You have teacher with you? She already did this side. You got copper, right? Yeah. And uh, what color you got today? Um, we're gonna do black and gold. Black and gold. Um, we're gonna do black and gold on two nails, and we're gonna freestyle the other ones. I don't know what other colors I want. Look, look my nail. Look. Oh, okay. Hot. Oh no. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, hot. Look. This one. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Can, can I have? Can I have this on the rest of them? You want that? Yeah, I want black and gold on the ring fingers. I want this on the rest of them. But I don't want black. I want a different color. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. How many fingers you want that? How many fingers? Four. Four on each hand. I just want this hand and this finger and these two fingers. I want them black and gold. Black and gold. Yes. The other fingers. I want this. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hi everybody. Thank you guys for the gifts again. I can't.
see. My eyes are not focusing right now. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. I feel like Velma. I can't see without, I can't find my glasses without my glasses. <laughs> so I see y'all typing. I just can't see like that. It's too small. And the lighting in here, um, it's very dim. Like It's very dim in here. He's still with me. He is uh, with their uh, the god mom right now. Uh, all the kids are. Because today is my self-care day. As you can see, I'm getting my nails done. Um, I already got my toes done. So you missed that earlier. I got my toes done. Um, and then I'm going to go to Children's Place. So where I am right now, if I go, I'm in the nail salon. If I walk next door, it's Party City. And then next door is Target. So I got to pick up my glasses from Target. And then next door to Target is Children's Place. I got to pick up his clothes from there. And then across the street is Chipotle. They ask for Chipotle. It's Friday night. Friday night, they get to pick out their dinner for movie night. So they ask for Chipotle. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so they're good to go. So literally, I'm just going to be walking from door to door to door just picking stuff up. After I get my nails done, if I fix um finish getting in ground. Yes, what's the question, hon? You just had Chipotle? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. When you get Chipotle, did you get the, the lime, the lime juice that they put on the, the rice? Because if you don't, you're missing out. If you don't get the lime juice and the vinaigrette, mm-hmm. Thank you. Where do, I live in Atlanta. I'm trying to hold y'all close. Like I said, I can't see. I can't see right now. My astigmatism is, is beating me up right now. And my eyes aren't focusing. You make your own vinegar? I can, but... Today is movie night, and I don't feel like it, right? On Fridays I, and Saturdays, sometimes I go ahead and make sure that I take my time and just spend time with the kids. That I'm not hitching a whole lot. Unless I, like, I have an event for Saturday. That's the only time I'm really in the kitchen on Fridays. Oh, you do? Oh, I'm doing fine. Like I said... I posted a video saying I needed a self-care day. This is part of it. Tomorrow, I'll go get my hair done. So, that's what I'll do tomorrow is go get my hair done. Um, so, kids are with God, mom. Um, I'm only about seven minutes away from the house, if that. Um, so, excuse me. Thank you. Happy New Year, okay? Not too far if something happens. Which I doubt, they're outside because it's very warm here. Oh, thank you. So I'm just um, trying to take some time for myself because I need to. Sorry, my nails all in y'all face. I'm trying to take some time for myself because I need to. I haven't done it in, in a long time. And y'all, if anybody that knows me knows I get my nails done every three weeks, I had took some time out to not get my nails done. I was like, you know what? I need to go get my nails done. I need some time to myself, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so, that's what I'm doing. Hi, Theo. Um. Um, as far as moving forward with a new dynamic, it has not been hard. I am just making sure that I am <coughs> listening to him and listening to the kids, right? Um, because I understand that it's not an off, it's not just an adjustment for me; it's an adjustment for uh, Kanye and Kiara as well. Uh, so I make sure that I'm paying attention to certain things, having certain talks if I need to because I want them to know that their voices are heard as they have always been heard. And that's important to me. 
We've been doing good. We've been doing good. I'm looking that's been getting me is this grocery bill. This grocery bill been tearing me up. Thank you. I'm going to put y'all down for a little while, but I'm still going to talk to y'all. Thank you. So I need to hear that. I'm going to put y'all down for a little while. Thank you. I can still read y'all comments. I don't like this. I'm going to just pick y'all back up. Hi. I want y'all to see my hand. Look at my hand, y'all. She looks sexy already. She ain't got no color on her. Nothing. Yes, I am. I am planning on that. Um, cause I wouldn't have to change the schools. He's, he, his, his father stays in the same neighborhood. Um, I'm going to add myself to some paperwork. I've already got clear for my background check yesterday. I have to take some classes next week to be a guardian or a foster parent. So yes, I'm, I'm working on it. Um, otherwise I wouldn't have bought him a bed and bought him clothes and all that stuff to be at my house. So I'm, I'm, we getting there. Y'all just give me a minute. I'm, like I said, I'm updating y'all as I go. As, as things are going along, I'm updating y'all. Um, because I, I realized that I have, I didn't realize I had a, a lot of foster mothers that follow me and that I follow, which is pretty dope. And so if y'all have any suggestions or any help, please let me know um, so that I can be better equipped for this. Um, I don't know if y'all know um, the woman here. Her name is Nanny Q here on the app. That is, that is my auntie. Um, she knows where I stay. I know where she stays. Uh, we, we close. She's been guiding me along this journey. And it has been a wonderful journey. Oh, the baby. She has been guiding me along this journey. And so has a lot of you guys have, uh, have been doing the same thing. Which I appreciate because I, I was so lost. I just knew that I wanted to protect and love and care for this little boy. But I didn't know, you know, all the legalities that went into it. And you guys have been helping me a lot. And I really, really appreciate that. Because y'all didn't have to do that. Y'all didn't have to do that. Y'all didn't have to take the time out to research and then tell me things and then give me resources. That was not something that I asked for. But I... I so appreciate y'all. I really do. Y'all have been so damn dope. And I know this was like last minute for everyone. The past 72 hours for all of us has been something serious. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. So I went to my comments. How about Rosie O'Donnell following me, y'all? looking through the comments trying to answer y'all questions right i see a blue check mark and i'm like who is that i click on the picture it's rosie o'donnell what where did she find me <laughs> how did she how did she find me i i was so baffled i was like this not that rosie like i, I was talking myself about that, that that's that's not the same rosie i clicked on that picture i said oh that is rosie o'donnell then there's this black lady i love her her name is tabitha speaks why are we friends when did that happen when did that happen y'all y'all tell me if y'all knew when that happened I was so confused. I just said, it said your friend, and I click on it, and I can send her a message. What? Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I have been going through some things. Good things, right? But y'all are blowing my mind. Y'all are. Y'all are acting up. Okay. I love all y'all, right? Even to the people that disagree with how I decided to handle this you here glad you're here 
Hopefully right. you learn something because I'm not going to change unless it's necessary. But I have been connected with so many people for the past 72 hours. I don't know what the fuck is yeah. going on here. The boy is fine. He is fine. Um, he called me mom today. I'm super excited. Also, somebody was like, I should do a Colgate commercial. The funny thing is, that's the only toothpaste I use. <laughs> I use the Colgate charcoal toothpaste. It's in my bathroom right now. <laughs> I might reach out to them. I don't know. Um, so, it just is what it is. I'm super excited. Hi from the UK. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great day. Wait, what time is it there? Wait, depending on what part of the UK. What time is it? Is it Saturday there for you? It is five something here. Mm, depends on part of the UK. Okay. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. I'm trying for for. I wasn't expecting it. However, I'm just glad that he found me. He found his family, and I'm I'm glad for that. Um, Y'all not gonna make me cry in this nail shop. Y'all done did it to me earlier while I was getting my toes done. I just told, hey brother, I just told y'all y'all not gonna make me cry again in this nail shop. Okay? I told y'all no. Y'all hard headed. I'm not gonna cry again in this damn nail salon. I got people looking at me funny. Um, it, it's it's kind of like, do y'all, so those of y'all that have been with me for a while, do y'all remember that first day I got to Raji? And people were like, that's your dog now? What you mean, have you, have we seen your dog? She's a part of your family now because she was so comfortable. That same comfortability is the same comfortability that he has with me. I don't know what it is about me that makes people feel that comfortable or animals feel that comfortable. I, I, don't, I don't know. Because it's not like I'm doing something you know, extraordinarily special. It really just made me think about that old lady before I walked into the Nelson that says, your aura is shining bright. I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that, I don't know how other people see me, right? Like you, you know how you want to show up in the world as a person. But you don't know how you come off to other people. And the fact that I don't know that lady name. I still don't know that lady name. It is the fact that she was like, your aura is shining so bright. And I was, is that the way that I show up when I come across people? You know, like, I'm not mad at it, right? It's just how many people have I come across that see me that way? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just being myself. I'm just being me. Um, and I hope that I'm making other people's day better. Even if we don't have an interaction, the fact that you came across my path, I hope that I'm rubbing off on you in some way, shape, or form. You know what I mean? Cause I'm tr I'm trying here. I'm I'm trying. That's that's all I can say. Is that when I come into a room, I hope that you know that I'm there and I'm there to give you strength, not to take away from it. And lately, I've been seeing that that's exactly what I've been doing, and then some. And um. It's a beautiful thing to hear people actually say it. To, to hear people actually say, I, I see you in that way. Not just I see you as a person. I see, I see you physically. 
but I see your spirit shine through. I see your aura come out. I, I feel your presence. Hey, that, if y'all have never heard that, if y'all have never felt that, that's a different type of understanding of who you are. And the fact that I'm able to project that, because I'm an empath, so I'm able to project and I'm able to absorb emotions. And the fact that I'm able to project that emotion out of myself and project that into other people, that's beautiful to me, you know? Um, and for the past, what, month, I've been hearing it more and more and more. And that's why I keep saying, like, I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know what kind of awareness I'm coming into. I don't know what what is about to happen, but I, I got to get ready. I got to get ready. There's no way I can go on about my day, on about my life, and not just be ready for this. Because it's about, something's about to happen, right? Something's about to happen. There's no way. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Because um, if I won't acknowledge it, then I become oblivious. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, people, people play with empath empathetically, um, projecting their emotions. I understand the power that I have when I, because because I know that I am one. Um, that's not something that you play with because you realize how much you can put on someone empathically. You can overwhelm someone without saying a word to them if you empathically project to them. I know. <laughs> I know. I can do it and I can absorb it. It's just, it's just, it just happens, right? If you don't know how to use that, if you don't know how to control it, it will go haywire. You, you got to understand where you are <clears throat> and and how you project and how you absorb emotions i understand how i absorb emotions i understand how i project so yeah you're also an empath can you tell me something okay how do you absorb emotions you being an empath and anybody else is in here if any other empaths are in here how do you absorb emotions? Tell me what that looks like to you. Because I realize all empaths are not the same. I get that. What does that look like when you have to absorb someone's emotions? Hi. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, I got a wave. The baby waved at me. <laughs> Because um, if I, uh, the way I absorb emotions, um, it can come in a headache, stomach ache, I can throw up, I can feel nauseous, I can feel seasick. Um, if multiple people are projecting on me at one time, I have to throw up. My emotions have ran over, they have to get up my body so that I can process them. Um, if there are any of my partners in here or anybody that has projected on me, they will tell you, that when I start to feel sick randomly, like right now, okay, somebody could project on me. I would have to get up from this 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 table and go throw up because my emotions are overwhelmed. I have to get them out. You know how like you, if you eat too much candy or chocolate and you feel sick, that stomach feeling. That's it. That's what that's what I feel. That's the best way that I can. That's the best way I can um, explain that. Okay, so you do it with meditation. Okay, I meditate every morning. So that's good. It takes a while. It takes a while to get it together. And even when you get it together, sometimes it's, you still be, you still can okay. <laughs> You cry. Oh, okay. It's okay to cry. Okay, got it. Okay, I'm so proud of y'all. Look at y'all. I'm so proud of y'all. Listen, the empaths unite. Um, <laughs> the kiddos are good. I'm getting my nails done, but they are fine. I'm going to pick up them some food when I leave here and some clothes and stuff. Um, 
But yeah, they're, they are fine. We're going to have Chipotle tonight. Yeah, you need to have me time because of Okay, you got it. So you had to seclude yourself. That's how you do it. Okay, I understand that. I get it. Yeah, yeah. No, they're fine. Excuse me. <clears throat> they're with their godmom. <clears throat> Luckily, she stays in the same neighborhood. So when I get to the house, all I got to do is just call her phone and let them know. They, they literally come from the building over next to my building. <laughs> so they're not far away. I'm only seven minutes from my house. So I'm not far. Um, also, I didn't want to go too far away from them with... Kai and Kiki dealing with their new brother and with him dealing with being in a, a new household and adjusting either. So I, I didn't want to go too far. Th that is true. That is true. And they come up to you with like the most heaviest things. It's like where did that come from? I don't even know you. Like, okay. I know I'm not the only one. And a random person will come up and spill. And I mean spill it out. Like they just poured out a whole glass of water. They come up and spill out everything. And it's like, I didn't even say hey to you. <laughs> I didn't even say hey yet. You just came up and just started talking. Oh, why are we here? <laughs> How did we get here? But then you want to listen because it's like clearly they needed to say something to somebody. It's like, well, why did you choose me today or right now? I had to have, you know how like Forrest Gump sat at that stool with that black lady? He just started spilling. <laughs> that's how it, that's how it be. You be like, uh, okay. <laughs> you just sit there and listen because clearly they needed to say something. But as a psych major, I know that people will tell strangers more in-depth things about their lives than they would tell people closest to them because they feel like they won't get judged. That's just psychology right there. Something I had to learn. So after I learned that, I'm like, all right, you, you needed this. This this was something you needed. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had to set boundaries. I had to figure out what those boundaries were um, when it comes to people uh, trauma dumping on me. I'm like, I'm not even in this headspace for, for me to receive what you need for me to hear. I can't do it right now. And, and I, I, I used to feel bad about it, but then I'm like, do you want to feel bad about it for like 10 seconds or do you want to sit here and ponder on this for the next five hours? So... <laughs> I choose me. I got, I got to choose. I can't. Yeah. Because cause I realized I was putting myself in spaces where I was sitting here trying to dissect somebody else's problems for the next five, six hours. And I'm like, damn it. If I would have just told them no, I wouldn't have to deal with this. Yeah, no sounds mean. But no, I don't I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> I don't feel like it. I can't. I, I, I can't do this. Look at that Yeah, yeah. I agree. You, and you got to. And that's just not as impasse. That's just as people, period. If you are not in a space where you can understand and receive certain things or where you don't want to discuss things, you got to say, you got to be able to say no. It's okay to say no. No is a complete sentence. It's not no because. It's not no why. That, you don't need an explanation. Don't feel like you have to explain anything because you said no. And if somebody asks you why, because I said no, that's fine to say. It's totally fine to say. I said no because I said no. The end. Welcome back, High Life. I always felt like I needed to explain myself to people. And once I realized that I didn't have to, 
totally different. That's my name. Yeah, no is a complete sentence. It's only two letters, but no is a complete sentence. No, period. I refuse to put myself in spaces where I don't feel comfortable or where I'm exhausting myself. That's why y'all didn't see me last night. I crashed. Well, Wednesday night, because I crashed. I was like, I need sleep. I know I, I know they want updates. I, I'm seeing y'all comments. I can't do it. No. I'll update y'all when I wake up. I love y'all very much. I do. I appreciate all the support. I do. I love that y'all love seeing how this is going. I do. But no. Sometimes I got to take a break from me because if I can't take a break, then who going to take care of them kids? You know what I mean? Like, some people can be so selfish, but we need this, we need that. Give me a moment. And if I need to take a moment, <coughs> you don't have to like it. I didn't ask for you to. But you're going to respect it or you can go. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but I love that y'all are on this journey with me. It's so exciting. It's like having it's like having all your cousins with you at the cookout. <laughs> it's like having all your cousins with you at the cookout. You get to update them and tell them what's been going on. It's real lit. However, I realize that I have to take breaks sometimes. Thank you. Um, so I love that y'all get to see this in real time. I'm literally updating y'all in real time about what's going on. Um, I may not do the unboxing tonight. I may go home and like hide the clothes and then let him do the unboxing in the morning. Because by the time I get home, it's going to be kind of late. And I'm trying to keep him on a bedtime. Um, so... I might do the unboxing tomorrow. But I am going to go to Children's Place to pick the clothes up. But to keep in, in in accordance with the bedtime, I just might do it tomorrow. Like I said, it's already almost 6 o'clock. And bedtime is at 9. By the time I get home and give all of them baths and we eat and we watch this movie, it's going to be time for them to go to bed. So that's I'm going to just do it tomorrow. Um... That'll probably be y'all first video for me tomorrow is the unboxing of all his clothes that y'all got him. Because I don't think y'all realize how much money y'all sent me. Um, it was a comma in my cash app when I looked at it. And I was like, all righty then. Uh, I hope they're happy tears. I be crying too. I be crying, y'all. I am, I am, um, I am a, a very emotional person. <laughs> I be crying. <laughs> I don't be caring about my tears, though. Like, listen, if I need to cry, I'ma cry. Um, I'ma also let y'all see my new glasses when I get them. When I leave out of here, I go to Target, which is two stores down. Get my glasses and go to Children's Place and then go to Chipotle. And then I'm going home. But I'm going to let y'all see my glasses. Too. I can tell you, I can't really see y'all comments. That's why I got y'all so close. My astigmatism, as I have gotten older, I'm, I'm going to be 32 uh, February 6th. My astigmatism is starting to come back. I used to wear glasses as a kid from the ages of two to four. Um, now it's coming back, and it's coming back strong. My eyes, they focus in and out throughout the day. And now that it's getting darker, <clears throat> and this low lighting, my eyes are starting to unfocus. Like, all day I've been fine. But as soon as it gets Everything dark... Everything nutty out of okay? Okay, it's fine. Everything desired, everything... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have a piece of cake as like a sticker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got a piece of cake as a sticker? Ooh. Mm -hmm. There's so many babies. Y'all won't, won't get me up in here. Y'all won't get me up in this nail shop with all these damn children up in here. Okay? I'm not having no more. Right? I done had enough. I had two. I quit. I think. 
um, I think. But for right now. Okay. I had two. I got three. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not going to get me with these pretty black babies. Y'all think y'all slick. It's, it's, it's a conspiracy theory. Ain't no way it should be this many black babies up in here looking this damn cute in this nest line on a Friday. But, but where? What, what, what y'all doing? Y'all trying to get me. Y'all trying to have me have another one of y'all nieces and nephews. And y'all won't get me. Damn it. No, I don't want one. I don't need another one. Up in here craving random ass chocolates and, and spicy shit. No. Mm -mm. Then my nose get big, my, my cheeks get fatter, but I already got fat cheeks. Oh, mm -mm. Y'all not gonna get me. So y'all, it's gonna be $90 for my nails. Y'all, that is the cheapest I have paid my nails in like two and a half, almost three years. My kids are nine, nine, and eight. I am thirty one. I love you in that green. You look so pretty in it. She looks so pretty in that green, y'all. Oh, I don't know if you heard me. Um, I'm answering your question again. My kids are nine, nine, and eight. Both my sons are nine. My daughter's eight. My daughter just had a birthday last month. She just turned eight. Also, I don't like it to get so dark so damn fast. I don't appreciate this. Y'all know what is one of the sexiest things to me is a man getting that pedicure. It's a man getting a pedicure, taking care of himself, having some self-care, taking care of his feet. Because the stigma on men getting their feet done, if, if you're not gay, which is dumb as hell, is why are you getting your feet done? Because I'm not trying to cut my girlfriend and my wife's sheets. Duh, fool. Like, <laughs> y'all walking around here with alligator feet. <laughs> but you talking junk about that man getting his feet done. Yeah, he tripping me out. Hey. <laughs> Listen, you saw that, did I was like, I was about to, I was about to prop y'all up. We about to catch it together. I thought somebody was about to fight. Oh, this is Atlanta. If I can't break out at any place. <laughs> <laughs> we, about to, we about to get that tea together, sis. <laughs> I don't know, but she, she fell out. Oh, thank you. Can y'all hear her? Can y'all hear her? I don't know what's going on there, but I don't want to keep looking at my hot makeup. Y'all look for me. Y'all look for me. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. 
Y'all look for me real quick. <laughs> All right. Now look here. When I go to children's place, I'm not going to show y'all either. Because y'all y'all be telling. Y'all be telling. And I don't want, I want y'all to be just as surprised as he is. So, when I go to children's place, I'll end this live. Um, I don't want y'all to see nothing that I got. Sáng tôi có nói chuyện với cậu Tám rồi Y'all all gonna be surprised together That's what y'all gonna be Thấy cậu thì hay vậy thôi Y'all y'all be like Look at look at internet next you got all these stuff that, mm -mm. Nope y'all gonna be all be All y'all gonna be surprised together Cause don't none of y'all know how much stuff I bought Now I did I will say I spent like $300 I will say that Cause he needed everything Yes hon Hi um, so I got him underwear and all types of stuff like that. Uh, but I'm not going to show y'all what I got until tomorrow. So when I go into children's, so I'm going to Target first. So y'all can walk around with me in Target because I got to get some stuff in Target. When I go into children's place, pick up this, this stuff. I'm not going to show y'all. And then I'll talk to y'all when I get home and then y'all can see my glasses and whatnot. If we can matter of fact, when I get home in about an hour, everybody pour them a drink up. It's Friday night, baby. Everybody pour a drink up. We gonna have some fun. You know, we gonna have some adult fun. We gonna have some talks and stuff like that. Okay? That's what we gonna do. We all need, we all need some good fun after the week we done had. Right before the New Year's. I might not get to, to celebrate with y'all on New Year's. Because y'all might be out and about. So we just gonna celebrate tonight. Yeah, they fussing. You, you hear it, right? They go on now though. But they were for Again, I'm in Atlanta. A fight could break out at any point in time. Hi honey. How are you? How's everybody doing coming in? You back? Welcome back, sugar. You shaking the whole phone, sir. Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you guys for the gifts. Thank you. Um, where are y'all at? Because, again, like I said, I'm in Atlanta. It's hot as hell outside. I shouldn't have worn a hoodie. I could have just worn a long sleeve shirt. And I would have been good. I didn't have to put on all these damn clothes. I really didn't. I would have been fine with just a long sleeve shirt on. But now I can't take my hoodie off because I ain't got nothing but a sports bra up under here. So. <laughs> Hi. It's been got dark as hell outside. And it's not even 6 o'clock yet. This shit blowing me. It really is. Cause ain't no need for it to be that dark this fast. It make you feel like it's about eight o'clock, nine o'clock. That's why I keep looking at the time. It's like, dang, I know I haven't been out that late. You walk out that door, huh? Yo. Also, this lady sitting beside me is sitting on a dump truck. Okay. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. <laughs> hey, hon. <laughs> Okay. 
Thank you, guys. You're amazing too, huh? Oh, we're gonna get my eyebrows done. My eyebrow lady not here. You're not gonna mess my eyebrows up. <clears throat> oh, thank you, hon. I appreciate it. Hey, Briz. I'm getting him. I'm saying get my nails done. I'm about to go get um, this stuff from Target and from Children's Place. But I'm like, my wrist is hurting too, though, honestly. But, um, hey, Chris. How's everybody doing? Thank you guys for those kind words. I appreciate them. <laughs> you just check that. Now, sorry, cough one more time. <laughs> Did you want to say hey? I'm on the last set. Say hey. I said, sir, cough one more time. She looked like, mm. <laughs> Did he hear me when I saw him stop coughing? I hope he did. I'm, I meant what I said. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm about to play with you. <laughs> Y'all remember, I gotta go home with three kids and two dogs. They can get sick too. I'll play them games. <laughs> y'all ain't y'all are hard, but I want y'all to know y'all ain't no y'all y'all can keep egging me on now. So this one, you said black and gold? Yeah, black and gold on that one. And then the rest of it. How would it be? How would it be? Do it how you want to do it. I just want black and gold on the nail. However you want to do it. Whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like my boo? Mm-hmm, that's fine. No. Okay. Okay. If y'all type and I can't see this far away, I don't have my glasses. So y'all give me give me just a couple seconds so I can pick the phone up. Dark outside. You like stone? Hmm? You like stone? I have the gold stone. The stone. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all would have thought it's like 9 o'clock outside right now because it's got dark so fast. I've only been here for like an hour. I have been here that long. But it just feels late. And I got to go to Chipotle, which is across the street, to go get our food. And I'm going home. Oh, and the Target and the Children's Place. But that's not going to take too long. But Y'all get to see my nails as they get done. Mm -hmm. Again, if y'all saying something, I can't see it. My astigmatism is acting up today. I can't see nothing y'all typing. So give me a minute. Let me bring the phone closer to me. I can't see. It's so small. So I do black. Okay? Okay. Black and white. Okay. You okay? Okay. I told you go ahead and do what you're going to do now. Oh, okay, God. Thank you. Mm-hmm.
I hope everybody's hey Lee John. I hope everybody's doing good today. And staying safe. I know some of y'all are heading home from work. Um, depending on where you guys are, because I know it's five o'clock where some of you guys are. Or depending on because I see that it was Tokyo in here, there was Japan in here, um, the UK was in here. So depending on what time zone y'all in, I might have already started y'all day. Y'all might be starting Saturday. So I hope y'all have a good day too. I'm just getting my nails done. We just chilling out. We just vibing. I'm just having a good time with one another. Just if anybody has any questions or any. Um, um, questions to ask me or anybody wants to talk about something, we can. Also, my wrist hurts. Yes, he's okay. He's okay. Um, he's with his brother and sister. I will get them when I get... I'm only seven minutes from the house. Um, when I leave here, I'm going to go into Target and get some things. And then I'm going to go into Children's Place, which is next door, and pick up his box of clothes that I ordered him. We're going to do an unboxing tomorrow. Um, they already blew up his mattress. They already put the, the cover on it and all that good stuff. Good times, right? But he's fine. He's doing great. I'm just happy he feels comfortable. That's that's all. I'm happy he feels comfortable, and I'm happy that kind Kiki feels comfortable too with him being in the house because that was another concern of mine making sure that everybody adjusted well not just about me adjusting or him adjusting but Kai and Kiki as well so, I'm glad that everybody is doing well and taking it in stride oh that looks nice I like that go ahead go ahead go on off okay. trying to get fancy over here Yeah. He's doing these designs on my nails. Honestly, I'm ready to go. I'm hungry now. Um, I'm trying to get to. I'm trying not to get to the point of being hangry. Nobody likes me when I'm hangry. It's, I need a Snickers at that point. Y'all know that Snickers commercial. That's that's very well true. I am not myself when I'm hungry. I, <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I don't like that. Um, so I, I'm trying to. I already pre-ordered our food. I don't know how. Oh. Okay. So I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm really ready to go. Oh, I'm gonna go. Just in case I'm missing something. It's five, oh, it's five oh five where you are at, at night. So you're so your central time. Okay, gotcha. TT. Are y'all being safe? Cause listen. Y'all know when it get a little warm, people start acting about on food, right? Especially if you down south. People don't know how to act when it get warm. They show they behind.
Y'all just bear with me here. I don't really um I feel myself starting to get aggravated. Um because I'm hungry. And uh it's not about to be good. Cause now that I think about it. <clears throat> I ain't ate all day. I didn't feed the kids and stuff. But I, ha I haven't eaten all day. And I think that's not helping <clears throat> either. The fact that uh, if I look at the time, it's about to be 24 hours since the last time I ate. And that's probably why I'm getting hungry right now. And I know, don't, don't, don't be fussing. Don't, don't start fussing. Okay, I, I know, I know, I should have ate this morning. I know. Okay, I know I should have ate. I did not. I did not eat this morning. All right, be quiet. I know I should have ate today. I didn't. Hush. <laughs> I know. I, I'm going to do better. I'm about to eat. Mm. I can feel your judgment coming through the phone. Don't, don't do that. Don't do, I'm, I'm trying. Okay? All right. I'm, I'm going to get on track. My bad. I, I'm ready to go. I'm hungry now. And, and now I'm ready to go. So... I don't feel like it anymore. And I don't want to be rude. I'm just ready to go now. So I'm hungry. I don't even feel like going to Target no more. I'm not going to hold you. I don't even feel like going to Target no more. I don't know. Because now, now I'm I'm hungry. I'm going to go though, but I don't feel like it. But I'm going to go. I know I'm going in children's place. Why am I going to Target? Fuck it. I'm not going to Target. I'll figure it out. When I get home, I'll figure it out. I, I'm hungry now. Uh, 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 I I want to get my food. I'm going to go home. Um, I'm too hungry for this one. I'm about to go to Children's Place, grab this box, and I'm about to go to Chipotle and go home. I'm hungry now. I think I'm just being impatient. It's like the more that I'm sitting here, it's like the slower he's doing this. And I know he's not doing it, so I know it's just because I'm hungry. My glasses. That's why I was going to the Target. Okay, never mind. I gotta go on the Target because I can't see. <laughs> That's why I was going to the Target. <laughs> I, you're right, going to so bad. It's so bad. It knocks off my, my equilibrium between my eyes. Yeah, let's not talk about it. Okay, let's let's move on.
wait, wait, wait. The last one, okay? Don't, don't be, don't be breaking your voice at me. You done, we done been through the trenches. You know better than to raise your voice at me. Hi, welcome. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. We about to move real fast. After I leave out of Target, I'm gonna get off this live. I got some stuff to do. Like I said, I don't want y'all to see what I'm getting at Children's Place. Cause again, y'all nosy and y'all aunties and uncles and cousins gonna have to wait right on with y'all internet nephew and see what I get when I give it to him tomorrow when he do his unboxing. I just feel like y'all will find some way to snitch. Or didn't have me in the store buying. The last one more time, okay? One more time, okay. <laughs> you. Yeah, you, yeah, you, I gotta watch out for you because you had me up in that down on the store just buying shit. No, I don't need a water. I asked that you need a water. What? Because you were coughing and your throat was sounding dry. That's all. Maybe. No, I don't need a water. <laughs> no. Thank you. No. Also, I couldn't decide on what colors I wanted, so this was a safe bet. Real, some real pink. You like your name? Maybe. I do. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see you up in here doing your thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, the baby. Might be sleeping. Good. 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 Thank you. Hi, sis. Hi. <laughs> Somebody paid for my toes, so I don't even know how much I got to pay now. Somebody paid for my toes earlier. So my toes should have been like $50. Like $50, like 52 just paid, thank you. I just paid, um, I just paid 110. God damn, it's warm as shit out here. Uh-uh. Why so hot? I mean, I'm not mad, but it's hot out here. Okay, hey, y'all. So, I just paid 110, which is kind of throwing me off because <laughs> I usually pay about like 180 for my nails and my toes. Also, I didn't get my eyebrows done today, so that, but that's only seven dollars. So that's not like too much of a dent. I had to look at him twice when he said the price. I'm like, mm, are you sure? Are you sure? So, as I as I can see, I'm walking. My nail salon is right there. Target's right here. Now, if you're from Atlanta or if you've been in Atlanta, you know exactly where I'm at, right? But yeah, if you if you have ever been in this area, you know exactly where I'm at because you would know why these things are so close. Also, um, this doggone police siren, this 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 these lights is 
aggravating my eyes. I don't like that. Because there's no need for you to have your lights on if you just be in security out here. Sorry. Yeah, it's just annoying. He didn't have his lights on like that. There's no fucking point. He was sitting on the side of the road. He don't even have nobody pulled over. And then... I'm agitated, y'all. <laughs> like I said, man, I, that's why I can't be going no place when I'm hungry. I can't be doing that. It's not It's not healthy for me to be places when I'm hungry. Do I need a basket? I'm in Target. I need a basket. I'm in Target. Duh. I'm going to pick up some shit I don't need to pick up. Who am I fooling? Why I would sit here and out of myself like that? know if any of y'all own any of the flower ranger cousins up in here but y'all but y'all but y'all, y'all family out here with shorts on just because it got warm today don't mean you put on some shorts and a tank top that don't mean that's not what that means okay let me find oh, so that's the that's what i look at my glasses from okay don't y'all let me come up in this damn so picking up extra shit i don't need don't let me come up in here doing it Look at me on the wrong aisle. Ain't no need for me being. Keep going, Des. Keep going. Keep move, 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 move. You don't need nothing off that damn aisle. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hello. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I um. Okay. I'm just trying not to pick up shit that I don't need, and I just feel like I'm about to do it. I just feel myself about, I know, I'm about, to, I'm about to do it. Somebody stop me, please. I'm about to do it. I'm about to pick up some shit that I don't fucking need. I don't need none of this shit I'm about to pick up. I'm about to find something to pick up, watch. <laughs> Hold on, what is that? Ooh, carpets. Wait, wait, wait. I don't need no carpet. I don't need no carpet. Where is the, um, what is that? What is that? See, this is why y'all can't go shopping with me. Ain't nobody said nothing. Ain't nobody said nothing. No, Des, don't do it. Ain't nobody. Y'all are horrible. Y'all should be my accountability partners right now. Okay. Ain't, 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 ain't nobody. Now, where I have to get these glasses from? Let me ask this lady. <clears throat> Trying to find somebody with a red shirt on, cause I just want some. I just want some reading glasses. <laughs> oh wait. I'm gonna I'm get y'all. Wait till, wait till I got this. Stuff. Wait till I can see these comments and, and be able to see all the way. I'm I'm gonna cut y'all out. I'm gonna cut y'all out. I want y'all to know I'm cussing all the. I I am so ADHD <laughs> when it comes to shopping. I don't even know where I'm at and I'm not even supposed to be in this area. I don't know where they would be at though. I know what I'm looking for. (laughs) Somebody said, don't do it for you. (laughs) I'm trying, I'm trying. But as I'm looking for these glasses, as I'm looking for these reading glasses, matter of fact, let me just go ask this man because I know he's back there taking some things up. I like, said, where are your reading glasses at? Because that's all I need. I don't need, like, a strong prescription right now. I just can't read a damn thing. Excuse me, sir. Where would your reading glasses be at? I can't hear nothing you saying. It's over there by the pharmacy. It's over there by the pharmacy? Yeah, okay. It's like on the back end caps. Okay, thank you. Okay, I got to go to the, to the pharmacy, you all. Why you ain't telling me that? Okay, so it's back here. I don't need no damn tie. Free, free gift card. It's free gift card if I do what? Buy three gift. Nope, nope. Mm-mm. I don't need no more damn tie. See, see how I just got this <laughs> distracted. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, glasses. I saw the glasses, y'all. All right. Okay, reading glasses. Those are ugly. These are not cute. Oh, these cute. Wait a minute now. 
Wait a minute now. Hold on, y'all about to see a bad bitch. Hold on, we go. Okay, y'all gotta help me. Let me sit y'all somewhere. Hold on. I'ma try. Y'all gonna have to sit sideways for a little while. Y'all be all right. If I can sit y'all still. Fuck it. Here we go. I'll just hold you. I don't like that color though. I don't like that color. This say spring. This look too small for my face, but we're gonna try them on, okay, y'all? Y'all tell me which ones y'all like. I don't know. Mm-mm. 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 That shit got blurry. This is three. Okay, that's a three. Where where's a where's a two? I need a two. Okay. All right, here we go. Here's the two. That shit was too strong. Shit hurt. Okay. Mm-mm. 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 I don't like that either. I don't like that either. Damn, is my prescription so low that it? It's like a one? 1.5? What the hell? Okay, let's just... I don't know. I feel like this is for like little kids. Why are they so small? My face not that small. Mm-mm. 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 But I can see though. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute, y'all. Ooh, what, what is this? Thank you. Okay. Oh, let me try them on, though, because I don't want to have no ugly glasses. Oh, baby, I'm a bad bitch. Can't tell me shit. Let's go. Let's roll, y'all. We got glasses. We about to go. Because I'm hungry now. Excuse me? All right. So, oh, she smells good. So, we about to get these. We about to go. And I'm going to Children's Place. Like I said, it's next door. Well, it's the Bath and Body Works. It's next door. And then next to that is the Children's Place. And then... <clears throat> So, y'all get ready because I'm about to end the live in just a little bit after I leave about this Target. And then I'm going to go to Chipotle and then head home. So, when I end the live, give me about 20 minutes. I'm going to get the kids settled. And then I just want to go to the sub. Check out my own. I'm going to have a sub. Check out my Why the line so much? Hold on. Let me see. Also... Okay, never mind. Here you go. Okay, here we go. Hold on, y'all. Bring it up fast as hell. 